Well, we, we, we certainly could get more global uh, carbon prices than we than we do at the moment. I mean, it's interesting. You, for example, we've got a global oil price, but we don't have global gas prices. Mm. They're all region regionally based, and I think you know it's more realistic to think in terms of carbon that perhaps we see these regional sort of markets beginning to join up and move in the direction of, of a of a global price. I mean, it's a bit like the Paris Agreement itself, where we kind of abandoned the top down approach mm. and we've moved to a bottom up one. We can see the EU trading scheme perhaps linking up with American states, linking up with Australia, New Zealand or whatever. I think it's probably more that bottom-up gradual approach that will work towards a global carbon price. Mm -hmm. But it's just worth worthwhile saying that I think a global carbon price is necessary but it's not enough to move in it because a lot of the things that we need to do uh, to deal with climate change are not things that are most easily stimulated by pricing. Mm -hmm. You know, things about regulation around energy efficiency, the way you plan cities and infrastructure, these are not things that a carbon price directly touches. So we're going to need an awful lot more besides a carbon price to really move things forward.